Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have one very, very interesting question from algebra. We have to evaluate the real value of x. And given equation is x cube plus square root 196 over square root 37 equal to 5. So let's get started by considering cross multiplication. So I can write x cube plus square root 196 equal to 5 square root 37. Now we know that 196 is 14 square. So this value will be 14. And this 5 I can write is square root 25. Then we have square root 37. So we can write square root 25 times 37, which is nothing but square root 925. Left hand side if I will write x cube plus 14. Now take away 14 from both sides. So x cube will be equal to square root 925 minus 14. Now I can impose one condition on x as this is square root 925 minus square root 196. So x cube is always greater than 0. So for real x, x should be positive only. So we will accept only x positive solutions. Now let me consider y cube also which will be equal to square root 925 plus 14. Now I will take away second equation from first one. So let me write here x cube equal to square root 925 minus 14. y cube equal to square root 925 plus 14. Subtract. So I will be writing x cube minus y cube. RHS will give us minus 14 minus 14 minus 28. Let me call this is our equation 1. Now let's check product of both also. So x cube times y cube. I will write square root 925 minus 14 times square root 925 plus 14. Now this is a minus b times a plus b. So difference of two squares formula. I will write this will be equal to square root 925 whole square minus 14 whole square. Now we can cancel square root with square. So it is left with 925 only. Minus 14 square is 196. If I will take this difference, then it is coming out 7 to 9, which is cube of 9. So left hand side it is xy whole cube. Right hand side it is 9 whole cube. If I will consider cube root both sides, I can write xy will be equal to 9 real solution. Now our first equation was x cube minus y cube. This was equal to minus 28. Now I can see I will apply a cube minus b cube formula. So I can write LHS as x minus y. In other bracket x square plus y square plus xy. And right hand side it is minus 28. Now this x square plus y square, we can write x minus y whole square. So x square plus y square minus 2xy. So I need to compensate minus 2xy by writing plus 2xy plus xy. x minus y rhs minus 28. So we can write x minus y times x minus y whole square plus 3 times xy 
equal to negative 28. Now xy is 9. So we can write here 9. So x minus y times x minus y whole square plus 3 times 9. If I will write directly then 27 we can write. And RHS is minus 28. Now I will use obvious substitution x minus y equal to a. So I can write our equation as a times a square plus 27 equal to negative 28. Remember our substitution is x minus y equal to a. Let us solve this equation. It will be cubic. So I will write a cube plus 27a equal to negative 28. Or I can write a cube plus 27a plus 28 equal to 0. If I will plug in a equal to negative 1 directly, then minus 1 cube minus 1, 27 times minus 1, minus 27 and then we have plus 28. So yes, it is minus 28, plus 28. We will get 0 as RHS. Conclusion from here, we can note that a plus 1 is one factor of this cubic equation. So I can go for remainder theorem. Let me write this cubic equation once. a cube plus 27a plus 28 equal to 0. So this a cube we can write a square times this factor a plus 1. So I need to compensate a square. I will write minus a square. Remaining terms as it is. 27a plus 28. Now same task I will perform here minus a square. I will write minus a and then I will replace by a plus 1. Now what is extra? It is minus a. So I need to write plus a. Remaining terms as it is. Now see this is again 28a plus 28. So I can write a square a plus 1 minus a a plus 1 and once I will take 28 common then we will get one common factor a plus 1. So I can write a plus 1 times a square minus a plus 28 equal to 0. Let me write here. Conclusion from this equation, I can write a plus 1 will be 0 or a square minus a plus 28 will be equal to 0. So from first equation, this one, I can write a equal to negative 1. And from this quadratic equation, the second one, if we will check discriminant only, it is b square minus 4ac value. For solutions to be real, it should be positive. So I can check from here. It is minus 1 whole square minus 4 times 1 times 28. So this will give us 1 minus 4 times 28. It is 112. So minus 111. Because of discriminant is negative, it will generate only complex solutions. So we can write here rejected. So a equal to negative 1 is accepted. Now a was our substitution. This a was 
x minus y. So finally, we have two equations. Let me write here x minus y equal to negative 1 and x times y equal to 9. Now we have to solve this new system. So from second equation, I can write y value. It will be 9 over x, which I will apply here. And what we will get? It would be here x minus 9 over x equal to negative 1. Multiply this equation by x. So I can write x square minus 9 equal to minus x. x square plus x minus 9 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation. I can go for quadratic formula. Minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so 2 minus 1 plus minus square root 37 over 2 or I can write from here x equal to minus 1 plus root 37 over 2 with plus sign and with minus sign minus 1 minus root 37 over 2. So here x is positive, here x is negative. We will reject x negative as per our condition. So we can conclude x must be equal to square root 37 minus 1 divided by 2 will be our correct answer. And this brings the end of the video friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself and bye bye.